about IEDDV and its objectives. Infotech Educational Development Initiative IEDDV is a non-governmental organization that promotes information and communication technology through practical computer literacy training, field-based software training and certification for employment and staff capacity development, scholarship for less privileged members, evaluation and recommendation of hardware and software products for mass utilization, information and communication technology research, promotion of computing practice and professionalism, taking offline community online. Courses Computer training most institutions and consultancy companies give to the public are more of theory and has no criteria for periodic evaluation to meet up the intended objectives. As a result, the initiative introduced simplified graphical video computer training and optional local languages sessions for people of different intellectual capabilities and qualifications to meet up the practical computer literacy requirement. The program is designed to allow participants to undergo basic hands-on practical computer training and finally specialize on how to operate any of the following field-based software. Management and administration software for managers, secretaries and administrators. Business information technology, business community to transact all sorts of business online. Forensic and bit law information technology for lawyers, security agencies and other relevant professionals. Graphic and multimedia applications for graphic designers, video editors, architects, engineers, event managers and other creative professionals. Accounting, auditing and numeric software for accountants, auditors, sales personnel, teachers and any other professional that deals with calculations. Internet and database applications for those who want to specialize in advanced internet. Not only that, there is also a continuous annual upgrading of the inculcated knowledge. How to get the DVD tutorial trained and be certified? Get the handbook and the DVD in any IDDV announced office in your locality. As soon as you train and can demonstrate skills in the DVD practically, come to any IDDV office for instant practical test and certification. If you don't have access to computer, train in any IDDV center as announced in your area. For more information, visit our Facebook page. IDDV First Level Computer Basic Tutorial Version 1.0 This version is produced for IDDV. This tutorial covers basic hardware and software lessons. Physical Introduction to Computer These are computers. They are desktop computer and laptop computer. The desktop computer is placed to use at home or office while the laptop is portable enough to go anywhere with it. They are used for the same purpose. What desktop computer can do, laptop can do as well. All of them have the same parts. Look at their respective monitor, keyboard, mouse, CPU, and the rest. Therefore, desktop computer and laptop computer are all computer. Do you need a personal computer? Think and think again, your answer would definitely be yes. Why do we need a personal computer? We use computers to save our books, documents, files, audio files, video clips, etc. We use computers to process sales data and produce reports, documents and the rest. It is also used for communication through chat, email, text message, voice calls, etc. We browse with computer to search for information, apply for institutions online, 
online booking, write online exams, online banking, online shopping, and many other things. In summary, computer is used in schools, hospitals, homes, banks, offices, industries, markets, stores, and other places. Advantages of computer Computer is fast. It handles millions of operations in a second. It is secured. Simultaneous. Flexible. It is accurate. Consistent. Multitasking, etc. Types of computer. Let's start with supercomputer. It processes billions of instructions per second. It is used for nuclear energy, geological data analysis, etc. Mainframe computer processes billions of instructions per second. It supports hundreds or thousands of users simultaneously. It is often used in airline, railway, banking, etc. Mini computer is lower than mainframe in terms of speed, storage capacity, price, and other features. It supports about 200 users simultaneously. Microcomputer. This class of computer includes laptops, desktop, handheld computer, PDA, etc. And it is the scope of this tutorial. Definition of computer. In the previous video, we know computer physically, its importance, advantages, and types. In this video, we will define computer and explain how it processes data. Computer is an electronic device that accepts data as an input, processes the data and produces information as an output or saves the information for future use. Explanation of the terms Data, process, and information that we mentioned in the definition. This is data. Input is any data or instruction that comes into the computer. Data is of different forms. We have data of number such as 1, 2, 4. Data of text such as E, R, D. Image data such as picture. Sound data such as music. Others include video data and biometric data. Note the instructions such as click, enter, plus, times are input but not data. Simply, data is a raw fact or unit component of an information. Explanation of process. Process is ability to change the data into required form by the computer. For example, our data E, R, D will change to red, which is meaningful and organized name of color. The processed data, that is our red, is a good example of information. That's why information is defined as organized fact. In summary, let's use Blender and its process of blending fruits to juice as a real example to understand computer and its term clearly. Take the raw fruit as data. The spoon to take the fruit into the blender as input device. The blender engine as CPU. The blender control board as keyboard. The blending speed control as instruction. The blending fruit container as RAM. 
Please don't take ram as the domestic animal we use for meat. <laughs> ram stands for random access memory. It is a memory that holds data for the processor while processing in the computer. Take Blender Blade as processor. The blending screen as monitor of the computer, which we see and control how our data is processed. The spoon or other device to offload the blended juice is an example of output device. The container to offload the juice into is the hard disk drive. Previously, we defined information as processed data. Therefore, our processed juice serves as information. Here we can come to the refreshment point. Take the cups of different shapes, size, and structure we use to serve the juice as different storage mediums such as CD, DVD, flash drives that we use to store and use our information in any computer. Memory the term memory is storage space inside a device that used to store information or instruction permanently or temporarily within or outside computer. There are different types of memory. Let's start with CD. CD stores up to 700 megabytes of resources, usually files. It is used to save or transfer files between computers or other devices. DVD. DVD stores up to 4.7 gigabytes of resources. We have different types of DVD with different higher storage capacity. It stores and plays better quality video and audio files. Next is the memory card of range and storage capacity that we use in our cell phones and other devices. Flash drive is a storage device that connects to the computer or other device via the USB port. It is of different color, shape, and ranging in storage capacity. Card converter or card reader is a small device that links a computer with memory card to copy or save files. Modern computers have built-in card readers to connect the card directly. Hard disk drive. Hard disk drive is a memory with large storage capacity inside the computer. It is used to save files and other resources inside the computer. RAM is another memory inside the computer that holds data for the processor while processing. We mentioned storage capacity several times in the previous topic. Now let's look at memory unit and storage capacity. Under this topic, the unit of memory is called bit. The exact amount of data in a megabyte or kilobyte varies. It depends on the nature of the document. Some text editor stores with formatting data, which increases to the actual space of the memory required to store the data. Notwithstanding, below is a table showing memory measurement technologies and other approximate storage capacity. 8-bit is equal to 1 byte. 1 byte can store 1 character. That is, 160 bytes is equal to one SMS message. 1000 bytes is equal to one kilobyte and can store about half a page of text in light programs such as Notepad. A JPEG picture occupies about 500 kilobytes. 1000 kilobyte is equal to one megabyte and can hold about 500 pages of text. Five megabyte can store about three minute MP3 music file. 1000 megabyte is equal to 1 gigabyte and can save as much as 1000 moderate size textbooks or future length film. 1000 gigabyte is equal to 1 terabyte and can approximately store up to 1 million textbooks. 1000 terabyte is equal to 1 petabyte and can save 1 billion textbooks or half of USA academic research libraries. 1000 petabyte is equal to 1 exabyte and 5 exabyte can store all words ever spoken by human beings. 1000 exabyte is equal to 1 zettabyte and it can save all the data on earth. 
1000 zettabyte is equal to 1 yottabyte and can hold 1000 times of all the data in use on Earth. 1000 yottabyte is equal to 1 brontabyte and can store about 1 million of current data on Earth. 1000 brontabyte is equal to geobyte and stores about 1 billion of all the data on Earth. This measurement is based on IBM Dictionary of Computing. In summary, note that video consumes more memory space than sound. Sound consumes more memory space than picture. And picture consumes more memory space than text as well. Parts of computer From our definition of computer, the data is coming into the CPU, processed in the CPU, and saved the information also in the CPU. Therefore, the CPU is the computer, and the rest of the devices are parts of the computer. All the parts that allow data or instruction into the computer, such as keyboard, are called input device. While parts that bring out information from the computer, such as printer, are called output device. Let's start with input device. Mouse. We use mouse to instruct the computer. The name mouse was derived from the actual mouse. Look at how alike they are. It has a cable that connects to the CPU. This is a left click, but it is also called click. Click is used for three things. Click, hold and drag the icon or object to change its position in the screen of the computer. Double click to start or open a program. When the program is started, single click to execute an action or single click to highlight icon or object, especially when we need to format them. Look at the click cycle. The detailed formatting steps are covered in the practical session. Scroll mouse. It is used to scroll a page up or down in applications. Look at the border of two pages that comes as a result of scrolling down. An application is a computer program that we use to do our day-to-day -day work. Right-click is used to see possible options available in any location, object, or program. For example, right-click anywhere in your computer to see all the possible options to click and work. The detailed options in right-click are covered on the file, folder, and directory in the practical session. Keyboard Keyboard is used to enter data or instruction into the computer. It has cable that connects to the CPU, but some keyboards are wireless. When the user of the computer presses any letter or number on the keyboard, it will appear on the screen as pressed in any program. Caps lock is to change letters to small or capital letters upon every press. Shift key is pressed along with other keys that have more than one symbols, letters or numbers to type the upper symbol or character in the key. Spacebar is often pressed to create space between words while typing. Delete is used to erase highlighted objects, letters or character. Backspace is also to erase but without highlighting the data or object. Enter key is to execute an action such as go, start, play, continue, move to the next line, etc. We press tab key to highlight objects, especially when we're not using mouse. We press escape key to clear away unwanted pop-up. 
Arrow keys are pressed to move an object or page to the points and directions. Right click, as the name implies, is the same thing with the mouse right click. Below are some of the keys used in shortcut. Shortcut is pressing of two keys orderly to instruct the computer. Orderly in the sense that press and hold the first key, then press the second. Pressing the control key plus letter X is to cut highlighted text or objects with intention to take it somewhere. Make sure you press them orderly. If you press them otherwise, that is X then control key, it will not work. If you press them at the same time, it will not work because you did not press them orderly. This rule is applicable to all Windows shortcuts. Control, which is the CTRL key on the keyboard, plus S to save your work. Control Y to redo last changes. Control C to copy highlighted text or object. Also note to differentiate between copy and cut. Copy to duplicate it somewhere and cut is to move it somewhere without leaving a copy in the actual location. Control V to paste what copied or cut earlier to a chosen location. Ctrl P to print your work. Ctrl Z to reverse last changes in most programs. Ctrl A to highlight all contents of an active page to copy, cut or delete. Window, which is usually close to the control key with the flag-like square symbol on it, is pressed with letter E to open my computer to access external devices or other directories. The ALT key, which is also known as the ALT key, pressed with F4 to close active window. ALT F to see file drop-down menu. Scanner Scanner is used to scan pictures, documents and other related hard copy into the computer. It comes with driver CD that being installed to the computer. But some modern computers recognize and work with scanner without installing the driver CD. Replace a picture or document intended to scan, close the scanner cover and go to the screen of the computer and finish up the scanning. The precise procedure is covered in the practical session. Scanner has two cables. One connects to the power while the other one connects to the CPU. The commonly used scanners are paper scanner that we can scan normal paper or picture. Barcode scanner that used in businesses such as supermarkets to scan price of items. Biometric scanner that scans fingerprints, iris, etc. Output device Monitor is a part of computer through which we can see and control how we process data in the CPU. For example, look at the screen of the monitor where you can click yes or no to save your work. It has two cables. One connects to the power while the other connects to the CPU. Types of monitor Monitor is classified into cathode ray tube, which at times called desktop monitor. It is old fashioned, consumes more power, and displays low quality. Next is liquid crystal display. It is often in the form of flat screen, consumes less power, and displays better quality. The last but not the least is LED, which we can touch the screen to control the operations of the CPU. LED is among the best screen technology in terms of everything. Actually, monitor was an output device, but with the coming of touchscreen monitor, it has become both input and output device. Printer Printer is a part of computer that brings out copy of our work 
on paper or as 3D objects. The copy in the computer is called soft copy, while the printed copy is called hard copy. 3D printer is the latest type of printer which prints three-dimensional objects such as cell phone case, plastic cups, toys, etc. It is the printer raising a lot of issues on businesses, industries, copyright, defense, economy, etc. As most of manufactured and constructed objects could be printed with 3D printer. In fact, Bioprinting aspect of 3D printer can even print human organs such as liver, heart, bones, etc. It is expected to change all aspects of life. Microsoft has announced that the upcoming versions of Windows 8.1 will provide native plug-and-play support for 3D printers. Commonly used printer includes laser printer that uses a focused beam or light to transfer text or image onto paper as in photocopier technology. Laser printer is often used in corporate, school, office and other environment that require quick, large quantity black and white print job. It uses dry power cartridge that being refilled periodically. But for better quality printing, it is advised to buy a new cartridge when the first one fades. Inject printer is a printer that propels droplets of ink into the paper or other mediums to print. It is not as fast as laser, but it produces high quality black and white or colored printing. It uses liquid refillable cartridges. Thermal printer is the one which uses wax material or heat sensible paper to print. It is suggested to come working environment as it is not making noise while printing. It has less issue and lack of ink or paper jump. It is always neat as long as the printer head and the thermal paper are good. This type of printer is often used in banks, companies to print payment bills, point of sale receipts, ATM receipts and so on. Another output device is speaker. It outputs sounds from the computer. Central Processing Unit CPU CPU is the engine room of the computer where all the activities are taking place. This is the front view and the back view. Those pink and green areas are the parts where we connect the mouse, keyboard, printer, scanner, speaker, etc. Inside CPU The major things inside the CPU are the motherboard. Let's zoom in to see the CMOS battery. CMOS keeps settings such as time and dates running even if the computer is off. It also helps to boot the computer. The RAM holds data for the processor temporarily. The hard disk drive saves data or information permanently in the computer. And the processor processes data to information. Hard disk drive, RAM and processor. Here, we are going to look at how hard disk, RAM and processor communicate to create, save and edit documents in the computer. At the start of any program, the unsaved document resides in the RAM for the processor to process it. When we save the work, it goes to the HDD. As soon as we click any saved document, let's say to edit, it leaves the HDD and comes to the RAM for the processor to process whatever changes we may add or delete. As soon as we save the changes, it goes to the HDD which is the hard disk drive and remains saved as edited. Hardware The CPU which is also called system unit and all other parts of the computer are called hardware. Therefore, hardware is the physical component of the computer that we can see and touch.
practical test objectives. At this stage, you are expected to be a computer literate. Thereby, you should be able to answer all verbal questions on all the treated topics so far. As demonstrated in the practical session or practical video, you should be able to connect all the devices and power cables to the computer and boot. Launch Microsoft Word, type a paragraph containing all the commonly used keys in the keyboard and save the file on desktop. Create simple Coro, Excel and web page files. Save them also on the desktop. Create new folder and name it My Folder on the desktop. Copy and paste the MS Word file to My Folder. Cut and paste the Coral file to My Folder. Drag the Excel file to My Folder. Click to highlight the web page file. Press Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it to My Folder. Copy my folder on the desktop and paste it to my document. Cut my folder in the desktop and paste it to my pictures. Print either of the files with different printer settings to see the soft and hard copy practically. Software In the previous video, we learned about hardware. In this video, we will treat software. Broadly speaking, computer is made up of hardware and software. Before we define software, let's understand what a program is. This is a program. Let's zoom in and see what's inside. It contains written instructions that happens between the computer and its user. When the user of the computer presses 1, take the 1 into the CPU and show 1 on the screen of the monitor. When he presses plus, consider it as addition in the CPU and display it on the screen of the monitor as 1 plus. When he presses 2, accept it into the CPU as 2 and display it on the screen of the monitor as 1 plus 2. When he presses enter key or equal sign, add the two numbers and display 3 on the screen of the monitor. This is a program of adding two numbers. Any program, be it in a CD or downloaded from the internet, once if it's installed to carry out a specific task in a computer, It is software. That's why software is defined as a series of instructions that carries out a specific task. Downloading is transferring or copying software or other resources from internet to the computer you are using. Who develops software? Trained persons, often computer scientists, who underwent training on programming will sit, think, and write a program that does a specific work in a way that the computer understands and responds to the instructions as written. They copy the program and distribute it to target customers as software through internet or software vendors. Let's briefly explain some commonly used software. Windows operating system is installed to coordinate various components of the computer system. Coral Draw is installed and used for graphic design. Antivirus is installed to prevent or cure computer virus. Media Player is installed to play video or audio files. Types of software Software is broadly divided into system software, which is also called operating system, and application software, which is often called application. System software such as Windows, Mac, Linux, Ubuntu are installed to start the computer, run it and coordinate its various components such as printer, monitor, 
scanner, keyboard, etc. System software is first to install on every computer. The process of preparing software ready to use in the computer is called installation. When installed, it resides in the memory space of the hard disk drive contained in every computer. Application software Application software, in the other hand, is installed to the computer to do day-to-day -day work. By saying day-to-day -day work, I mean typing of documents, calculations of numbers, graphic designs, and what have you. Types of application software Application software is divided into turnkey and custom software. Turnkey software is the software we buy or subscribe its usage license, install or integrate instantly and use. Popular among this type of software includes Microsoft Office Suites that is used for typing documents, numeric calculations, etc. Web browsers such as Internet Explorer, Firefox Mozilla, Opera, Safari, Google Chrome, etc. That install to use for internet browsing. Branch Collect is a payment gateway developed by Upperlink Limited. It's an online application that processes payments and websites to specified bank accounts. It works with all branches of most banks and could even be complemented with other payment gateways to process online card payments worldwide. Last but not the least, in an example is Google Apps that is used for video conferencing, paid email services, cloud storage and other related functions. Custom applications on the other hand are the ones developed based on clients' requests and requirements. It is developed by companies such as DataArt, Uplink, Intechsoft and many others. Their general characteristics are Gathering client requirement Application development if not existing If it exists, then customization to client's needs and deployment Training of the computer operation staff on how to use the application Support the project This has to do with rendering all the assistance and adjustments to the software as may require by the client within the duration of the project some companies do online support, while others like Opalink attaches permanent support staff to work physically with the organization. For example, as the name implies, College Portal is deployed to schools, colleges, polytechnics or universities to manage. Online sales of form, meaning selling of application forms through internet. Online admission. Online registration, online payments of fees, printing of reports, analysis, and the rest. Other examples of custom application include ePilgrims, that is used in pilgrims departments, online ministry used in ministries, institutions, NGOs, religious institutions, etc. E-revenue that used in all types of revenue departments and online booking has to do with hotels, transport companies, airlines and other bookable businesses. Before we round up the topic, let's look at legal and license issues of software. Let's start with freeware. These are generally a small software program that is being downloaded from the internet for free. Next is shareware. It's mid-sized software where the user pays some amount to download and use it. License software. Here, user buys the license to use the software under certain conditions and restrictions. For example, the user is not allowed to resell it, but allowed to copy it to another computer for backup purpose. Sold software. User buys this type of software and owns legitimate rights to resell or modify it. Open source. Open source is available for use and it's allowed 
to modify the source code, it depends on the license. It may or must be distributed. Summary Modern computers comes with operating system and few commonly used applications installed. It is the responsibility of the user to look for other needed applications and install. Note that both application software that we use to carry out our day-to-day -day task and the system software that starts and runs the computer are residing in the memory space of the hard disk drive contained in every computer. Look at how all the terms we've discussed reside and communicate. At this stage, you're expected to answer verbal questions and software. Know all types of software with their examples. Install some softwares to computer and work with them. Know how to download or request for custom software for your business from software development companies. Introduction and other titles in the series. This video tutorial is the IDDV first level. The second video is called IDDV main level. It covers clear explanation of computer file, folder, directory, etc. Working with Microsoft Word, Excel, CorelDRAW, and others. Internet applications that comprise of browser, email, search engine, Facebook, online application, online transaction, and the rest. The IDDV final level allows one to choose and specialize in any of the following advanced fields. Business information technology, to start and transact all sorts of businesses online. Advanced internet, to specialize on internet. Administration and management applications, for managers and administrators. Forensic and bit law infotech for lawyers, security agencies, and others. Accounting, auditing, and numeric software for accountants, auditors, sales personnel, teachers, and other related professionals. Graphics and multimedia applications for video editors, architects, engineers, and other creative professionals. For more collaborative information, log on to our Facebook page.